Okay, we are back in the bee yard. We are going to crack open uh, Hive 30 for the first time. This is the swarm that was on the ground last week. We're going to check and see if the queen is in here laying eggs. Make sure it's queen right. This is the hive that uh, lost probably about half of its bees to the cold and the wet. So I am very anxious to see that they are doing a great job living in here. some nectar. They are putting nectar in the frame. Definitely out foraging. That's great to see. So great to know that she got in the box. Um, when I was hiving her, I, uh, I was sort of rushing because it was cold and it was late and it was dark, so I did not take a chance to see her. It is very cool that uh, she's here and looks like this hive's still gonna be doing okay. I don't follow the color, so if it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me, no. Problem. I mean, there is a code for what color each year. Right, traditionally, but, each year you should mark it with a particular color, and that way you know when you come back another year that you've gotten the queen from that from that particular year. Here she is. You'll notice Jahua has done this more than once. She is very talented at slowing that queen down and putting a mark on her. So there we now have a pink marked queen. I will make sure to put a note on the box that she's been marked when we uh, finish up the inspection. I'm also gonna try and take a quick look here if we can see some of the eggs. You said you spotted eggs on this frame? Mm -hmm. It might be on the other side. It'll be a little better. I'm not going to flip this over since Here, the I queen can... is on that <laughs> other side. So the way you call the queen, we got queen handlebar. You pull the, the wing. And I just put her there. She goes. Yeah, she's gorgeous. It's a good queen. Pretty good looking queen. So there are some. I'm going to offset this down here. So there's some in the area. frames out of Hive 25. This is the one which I've mentioned about a million times was on the solar panel. They were coming back from flying. The drones were coming back from flying the other day, so they must be mature enough to be out going to a drone congregation area. So since these are both uh, queens from Swarm, these are actually the older mother bees of the hive that have taken off with a large part of the hive, and then uh, and then those old <clears throat> the old nest will create a, uh, uh, queen cells and then a new queen. So now we know the queen is on this side, so you can safely. Yeah. 
her by the thorax, but then she moves it on, so I'll have to. Excuse me. Maybe we should let her go back. <laughs> so we see the queen. We're good. She's on the bottom of the frame now. Wait, I'm gonna chase her to the middle so we don't accidentally crash her with the edge of the frame. And then you can slide the frame back. She did? Yeah, she's right here. She's good. And so usually, for inspection, that's where I stop. So nectar, and now you free up some space to to move around. And I'm most interested in whether the queen right and whether they need more space. So I'm not too concerned about what's on these two frames. I just want to go to the middle and then see if there's food. Yep. Nice, young, healthy. And I believe this was a foundation. It's roughly a quarter in a normal colony, roughly a quarter of the space of the brood area. It's drone brood. So, you see, when I give them this, they build drone cones on there instead of putting a lot of the drone cones on my regular frame. And are you doing this as part of varroa management too? Um, yeah, that too. So, uh, once these are capped, um, I sometimes pull them out. So the standard way is to pull them out and freeze the drone brood and then once the drone brood is killed along with all the varroa in there then you can return the frame back to a colony and they will clean it out they, they not always there are usually some queen cups just getting their in a hive in. yeah as a insurance policy in case they need a queen they have a place to start quickly they're, they are making more queen cups in the bottom, so maybe we should give them more space. With this being the first uh, swarm you've caught in the season, it's only had a couple of weeks to, to grow, and yet it it's is, already uh, filling up these three boxes. What day was it? It's probably three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Three... Uh, so it's uh, it's actually already don't hatching some of the brood. This is actually around. very early for this year. Um, so I keep forgetting today is only May 9th. It feels like June 15th to me just by how much I have to go through with the highs so far. To create more space so they don't feel like they need to swarm so quickly. And uh, even if you accidentally put a frame of brew on the edge, the temperature is pretty warm now that we don't have to worry about the brew get chill and die. Um, combs with wax. So what I typically do is, if it's all foundation, it's less attractive than if there's some of the resources and already wax combs already drawn out. So this is my system. And I keep saying mine because if you talk to a different beekeeper, they have different answers. I will pull. This is the foundation. So this is where I purposely insert the foundation in the middle so to create more space and also they're more likely to draw out the foundation that is sandwiched between two frames.
you can just when you're in a hurry you can just put the foundation right there mm -hmm. to this you know? <laughs> there's no particular rules about the best what is the best way to do this it's just this is just how i usually do it and you kind of close it up a little bit so they don't make a bunch of burr combs on the foundation and now when you have foundations like this they can go wild and draw a bunch of strange combs so i usually would just kind of push it toward the center just make sure there's and then once the bees start to come out and put wax on the foundation then you can space them out evenly to allow them to draw out this one is good and that one we have checked this queen oh, sails recently swarmed so we may not want to uh so there there are a couple of things actually um I'm gonna show you the what has happened is the story of the queen cells. Um, you see these three here? The opening is on the bottom. There's a legit like the queens actually emerged, and they probably have battled each other to death or something. I don't know what happened, but this one here is open from the side, so it looks like one possibility is. A queen that emerge first come back and sting this one and so when that happens the worker will just chew open the seal from the side and remove the, the carcass okay so we'll close it up and we'll come back and check again later And then you can put the top, the telescope in the back on. And so this is the 